Kieran, thank you for talking to us today. Uh, I know what you'll speak about, but uh, congratulations on being nominated for Manager of the Season. Again, it highlights not just what you've done this season, but the whole club. No, exactly. I think, you know, individual awards, whether they're for a staff member or for a player, it's it's a team sport and it's a club effort. So, um, yeah, it reflects well on, you know, so many people at the football club, um, in the staff, in the in the board, in the ownership, in the supporters, um, in, in terms of what we've created so far this season and, of course, um, on a fantastic playing group as well. So, uh, yeah, nice recognition from everyone. Um, and, you know, hopefully the sign of a, a season well done so far and hopefully some more good things to come. And it's been a busy week, slightly different routine with the Monday game going into Saturday. Uh, how have you used that time uh, and also got to ask how Kiefer Moore is? Yeah, a lot of it's been about recovery, to be honest, with a busy turnaround after the Blackburn game and then, you know, some boys coming off internationals as well. So we've had to recover. We've had, you know, a few injuries from Monday that we're still dealing with, to be honest, that we're, you know, we're going to have to work really, really hard to, to get players available for Saturday and that's going to be a challenge. Um, and Kiefer, yeah, um, picked up a, a back injury on uh, Monday's game. He hasn't been able to join in in any sort of activity yet. Um, so look, knowing Kiefer and, and, and how he is, he, he hasn't ruled himself out yet, um, but he's he's got a lot to do between now and, and Saturday morning to have any part in the game. The good news is it's not a long-term thing. Um, and if he progresses well, then you know, we hope to, um, you know, he, he'll be available for the games next week, if not this one. Fingers crossed for him and the other uh, players that you mentioned. How has this week been in terms of preparation? Another 90 minutes, as any other game is. Yeah, um, it's been good. We, um, I said really Tuesday, Wednesday was was mostly about recovery. We did um, a debrief on on Monday's game and a reflection on you know the whole performance, not of course just the the good bits or the bad bits, the the whole performance and of course a great ending. Um, and then you know it's it's really about the forty eight hours building up to the game now. You know dialing in on on what we're going to have to do in the performance on Saturday. Um, you know what what we need to be ready for in terms of Norwich's strengths, where we think we can hurt them and, and stick into our normal process and preparing the game as well as we can. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, try and get a performance that'll, that'll help us get a win. Of course, it attracts a lot of noise, not just in Ipswich, and uh, in Suffolk and Norfolk, sorry, but across the nation. Do you use any of that to, to channel it in the right way or is it purely about preparing for the task at hand? No, we know it's, look, we know, especially for the supporters, this is a massive game. Um, as any derby is, but we know that for our supporters, this is a is a really really big one, and we're going to do everything we can to to get them a result on Saturday. Um, but look, we've you know we've given a hundred percent to every game this season, I believe, and um, we can't give more than that. So, of course, it'll be it'll be maximum effort. We need to be really competitive, but we also need to focus on the performance, try and execute our principles as well as we possibly can, and um, do everything we can to to try and um, make Saturday a good day for us all. Um, but we also know, you know, whatever the outcome is on Saturday, if, if we win, you know, hopefully we get a good performance and a win on Saturday. But we'll have another really big game against Watford on Wednesday night. And, um, you know, whichever way Saturday goes, there's, there's um, you know, six league games left and we want to give our very best in all of them. And um, hopefully that will continue on Saturday. It's not a squad with loads of experience of the East Anglian derby, but does it help that it's a squad with experience of big games and these points of seasons? You know, even last season we go to... Barnsley, Derby, Bolton, their big games. We go play Southampton on Monday, another huge fixture. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got a good experience of, of you know, the games that people will call big games. And, um, you know, for us, every game genuinely is a big game. We, we prepare the same, focus the same for every game, process is the same. And I think the effort level, you know, has to be. And, and for the very, very, very most part, has been the same for every game. So, um yeah, of course, you know, we've come out on top in a lot of those occasions and that breeds confidence, that breeds trust in what we do. And um, we'll try and stick to that process on on uh, on Saturday. We, the group doesn't have a lot of experience of these derbies, but there hasn't been that many of these derbies, you yeah. know. Um, we, you know, the last game was um, the first one in five years. So um, it's, it's nice to be here, it's nice to be competing, it's nice to be going to Norwich in the position that we're in and it's a game to, to really look forward to and embrace and, and to try and attack in the best way we can. Just as an opponent in a football match, what do you expect from Norwich? Have they changed much since uh, December? No, no, I think um, they've been consistent with what they've done all season, to be honest, and I think credit to, to David for that. Um, 
and they've uh, yeah they're, they're of course in good form um their home form's been really good of course they missed you know Josh Sargent for a large part of the season he's an important player for them he's been back fit and they got good availability in the squad um and yeah we know it's going to be a big challenge they're a, they're, they're a good side so um we're prepared as well as we as well as we possibly can. We will prepare as well as we can over the next twenty four hours, and we'll go there and and try and give the very best account of ourselves. And um, you know all, that is all we can do. And um, we do know that if we do that, then we have got a great chance to pick up a result because, you know, as much as as they're a side that needs you know our full respect and attention, we know that we are as well. We know that we can, we've showed that we can pick up results. We can hurt teams in this division, and um, you know we're going to have to work really hard to try and do that again on Saturday. It's fairly obvious what sort of reception we'll all receive, players, staff, supporters at Carrow Road. What do you want to see from everyone associated with the club on Saturday? That's, I hope it's a great occasion. You know, those atmospheres are something to really enjoy and embrace. You know, the, the training week this week for us internally is all about, um, you know, keeping things normal and, and quiet and focusing on our on our performance and our processes as we would for any other game. But, you know, the atmosphere on Saturday, the noise... The hostility from you know home fans that's something to really embrace and enjoy that those atmospheres are, are brilliant to be involved in as a staff member brilliant to be involved in as a player and of course if you can come out on the right side of a the result then i don't think there's any any better feeling than going away to one of your big rivals and winning in their stadium so it's a great opportunity for us to try and do that on saturday hopefully the game you know passes off the pitch without any big instances and um, you know everything can be controlled in the right manner but um, I think the atmosphere and the intensity of, of the game is something that you know we're all really looking forward to and I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic atmosphere in the away end and, and hopefully we'll give them something to enjoy.